What's up everybody? Well, I got another gameplay video for you guys today and today we're gonna check out Elden Ring with the new DLC Shadow of the Urn Tree, but we're gonna do it on this little mini PC now We already tried it on the Steam Deck and it actually impressed me It was getting some pretty decent FPS without even having to put everything on lowest or anything So I'm expecting this guy to be able to do similar settings So I'll probably just go open up my video I made on the, on this game and just copy the settings and we'll just do that for uh, this computer too and then I think for the Asus, or the uh, Asus Ally, I think we will just do our normal 1080p high, not herpy medium, and 720p low kind of deal. Or maybe for 720p, we'll do the same settings as this, change it up a little for once. We'll see what I feel like doing when we get there for that video, but that's not for a whole nother video. For this one, we're going to also do screen recorded stuff, but keep in mind, it will probably kill the FPS, well not will probably, it will kill the FPS a little. Completely depends on the type of game. It can be anywhere from five to 15 FPS. So make sure you watch the camera recorded portion for the true FPS. But with that being said, let's not waste any more time and let's get in, have a look at the settings we're gonna run and get ourselves some gameplay. All right, here's the settings we're gonna run, just like on the Steam Deck, same exact settings. I was just curious how this thing would do. But then once I got in there and realized, oh wow, it kind of stutters and runs like crap, I figured, well, we'll just do the Steam Deck things instead of, you know, 1080p high, 900p low, and 720p, or medium, or whatever, and then 720p low. Anyway, game time. All right, here we are, literally in the exact same spot as the Steam Deck. I just kind of wanted to walk back there and, just for fun, start in the same manner. Huh, that's kind of weird. It looks like the recording doesn't pick up on the weird little stutters. That's very peculiar. You'll see them once I get to the screen or camera recorded gameplay, and that's why I didn't do much. That's funny. It looks like butter smooth almost here, even though the frame times are atrocious. The recording makes it seem pretty smooth. But it was not. It was very stuttery and laggy, and I was amazed I could kill anything, even these guys. Pick up some fruit. And that's why I only did like 3 minutes and 25 seconds, too, because it was just so stuttery. I figured it was showing up in the recording, too. But the recording makes it seem like I'm just talking nonsense, but I assure you, once we get to camera portion, you shall see how bad it was. Unless that too hides it, and it's just my eyes that see it, then I would be concerned. <laughs> but I don't think so. We'll see, though. Hmm, GPU randomly drops down like 400 megahertz for like a split second. That's random. Hmm, I got some not resin. CPU gets a little hot sometimes, but that CPU stays pretty damn chilly. Anyway, though, let's move on to camera so I can show you what I was talking about. Well, all right. Let's get a little bit of some camera recorded gameplay now just to show you guys it's not because we were screen recording. It just does this for some games. 
Now, I have a question. Does this game, even when you're playing now multiplayer, is it still using servers and you're still technically playing online, just people can't join? Because that's how I'm out there. Because usually, the reason I ask is usually, like, online first-person shooters and stuff like that run like this. I haven't seen too many single-player games that rubber band like that. Or not even rubber banding, really. That's just really weird. It's like fucking with my vision. It makes my it, my eyes feel like they're vibrating in their skull as I'm, like, walking around. This is definitely not an enjoyable way to game. That is for sure. Well, let's try to go kill some more stuff here. Now, some people have said that it's the Wi-Fi chip, and some people have said it's actually the RAM overheating. I don't think it's from the CPU or GPU throttling, because those are both at like 80 to 75 degrees right now. They're chilly. But the CPU's getting up to 80 now, though. So it's going up a little bit. But these things can get all the way up, I think, to like 90 or something like that before they start uh, thermal throttling. Heck, I think their desktop chips, like, just regularly like to run at 95. And as long as they're at 95 and they don't go over that, they'll keep pumping the CPU gigahertz up. Things fucking me up. Oh nope, they got me. Yeah, definitely not great at this game still, and it's been a while since I've played. But whatever, at least it's an easy body to get back. I don't think I had that much stuff. Anyway. But in any case, what a time to wrap this video on up. Well alright guys, that is a wrap for Elden Ring, Shadow of the Erd Tree, on this little mini PC and it does what lots of online games do. It stutters and does a bunch of lame crap. It definitely doesn't make for an enjoyable experience on a game like this where timing is important. Though I still think I would have lost to that weird creature. Oh, that's why I was worried about him. I thought I was far enough away for him to not bother me, but nope. Hey, and at least I gave it a shot, but that build is garbage now. It's way outdated. It can't do anything. And besides, it wasn't even a build anyway. I just kind of put that together. I try to like take a bleed build and make it my own and it did not end up working well probably why i failed at killing creatures so often in before in the original game but i eventually got through but i don't think that's going to happen anymore because that was before they nerfed a bunch of stuff especially bleed i think bleed does basically nothing anymore that's basically what my whole build was based off of way back in the day so it's whatever i'll just have to redo it come up with a new build when i actually play for real but for now i'm just gonna leave it alone because we're not like fighting bosses or anything Hell, it'd be nice if I could beat that one thing if it fucks with me again, but I don't know. I feel like that thing's gonna just keep kicking my butt. But we'll see. If it fucks with me again, I'll fight it every time. I don't care. This game is all about dying over and over again. 
Hell, I've probably died at least 2,000, 3,000 times in this game, and that's not even being too exaggeratory. Probably more like 1,500 or 2,000 or something, but still, I've died a lot in this game. But that's okay. That's what happens sometimes, especially if you're not good with me, like me. And who knows, maybe I can get good again, or at least get decent enough to win things without relying on people too often. Anyway though, why don't we go ahead and wrap this video on up so I can get started on the next system. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, cause I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out guys.